Hello students, welcome back. In continuation to the previous video, here is the topic for today's video. That is, responsibilities of housekeeping department. As I have discussed in the last video that, housekeeping department is one of the core department of the hotel. So, here we will discuss about the various responsibilities or various jobs which are taken by the housekeeping department. In this video, we will study about the importance of housekeeping department, the responsibilities of the housekeeping department. So, let's start. Introduction about the housekeeping department. The main aim of any accommodation establishment is to provide hygienically clean, attractive, comfortable and welcoming surroundings that offer value for money. Here I will just give you an example. You stay in a hotel and you pay for the stay. Let's suppose you are paying 10,000 for a room for per night and you don't get hygienically clean or attractive or welcoming environment. You will not visit that hotel again. So housekeeping's job here is to give you a clean attractive and a welcoming environment so that you feel comfortable. A good housekeeping leads to a happy and satisfied customer which in turn gives us repeat clientele. As we have discussed in the first chapter also that role of housekeeping in guest satisfaction and role of housekeeping in repeat business. Once a customer is satisfied once a guest is satisfied from the services of the hotel, he or she will come again and will give you the business again. That's what repeat clientele is. A good housekeeping sends a strong message of clean environment in hospitality operations. As I have discussed earlier, in continuation to the previous slide, home away from home. This is a saying. We at housekeeping department gives you the neat and hygienically clean environment as like your home. Importance of housekeeping. So we will start with the importance. Housekeeping is an operational department in a hotel which is responsible for cleanliness, maintenance, aesthetic upkeep of hotel. For example, cleaning of rooms, cleaning of public areas, back areas and other surroundings like lawn, banquets, anything. The effort that a housekeeping department makes in giving a desirable room to a guest has direct bearing on the guest's experience in a hotel. You give a neat and clean environment to a hotel, the guest will get satisfaction and if the guest is satisfied he or she will visit your hotel again. And guest rooms are the heart of the hotel. Why I have said this? I will discuss this in the next slide. In continuation to the previous slide, a hotel survives on sale of rooms, food, beverages and other minor services such as laundry, health club and so on. So, a hotel revenue comes from all these areas where room sales plays an important part in it. The sale of room constitutes a minimum of 50% of these sales. That means the total revenue generated by the hotel, 50% of that comes from the room sales. That means rooms are the one which generates more revenue than any other department in the hotel. Thus, the major part of a hotel's margin of profit comes from room sales because a room once sold cannot be sold over and over again. In continuation to the previous slide, housekeeping department makes all its efforts in giving a guest a desirable room which has a direct bearing on guests experience in a hotel. Housekeeping thus is an ancillary department that contributes in a big way 
towards the overall reputation of the property. I'll, I'll just want to put some light on this. There are hotels which runs without f &B department and they are known as Garni hotels. There, no kitchen or no f and service is there. That means a hotel can survive without f and department. That is production and service. There are self-check-in portals. That means even front office can be eliminated. But housekeeping cannot be eliminated. Reason, without housekeeping, a hotel cannot run or perform. Or guest will not get proper satisfaction or hotel will not get repeat business if housekeeping department is not there. It is rightly said that housekeeping is a 24 into 7 department. We are operational around the clock 24 hours. Kitchen, they might reduce their work in the night because they hardly get any orders. F&B service, they reduce their job in the night. They, there are hardly any guests in the bar or restaurants or banquet functions. Front office, there are hardly any guests for check-in. But the guests who are staying in the hotel, they can call any time. So housekeeping perform their duties around the clock. Other than hotel professionals, housekeeping services are very much in demand in hospitals, on cruise liners, at offices and more. Since most such organizations prefer to outsource these functions, contract housekeeping is becoming a lucrative entrepreneurship venture these days. There are services, there are companies which provide housekeeping services. So that is again an entrepreneurship venture for the new students who are passing out from the college. Responsibilities of housekeeping department. To provide linen in rooms, restaurants, banquet halls, conference halls, health clubs, etc. As well as to maintain an inventory for the same. In banquets, the tablecloths that comes under linen. In restaurant, the tablecloths or the napkins what guests use, they come under linen. The uniform of the whole hotel that goes from the housekeeping department, it's their job to wash, to replenish these linen or uniform and to maintain their inventory as well. To provide uniforms to all the staffs and maintain inventory of the same, I have just discussed it. To cater to the laundering requirements of hotel linen, staff uniforms and guests, yes. Even the guest laundry is taken care by the housekeeping department, whether it's for washing or just for ironing. To provide and maintain the floral decorations and to maintain the landscaped areas of the hotel. The gardening work is taken care by the housekeeping department. The landscaping of the lawns, the flower arrangements in the hotel, whether in the lobby or in the banquet functions or in the restaurants or in the bar, all those things goes from housekeeping department. To select the right contractors and ensure the quality of work is maintained, it's housekeeping department's responsibility to, to get the right contractors for the right job like pest control or carpet shampooing. These, these things are given on contracts because carpet shampooing is not a regular job. We do it either in the time of deep cleaning or once the something is spilled on the carpet. And pest control, yes, it is done by the proper trained persons. So that's why we give it on contract to coordinate renovation and uh, refurnishing of the property in consultation with the management and with interior designers. Let's suppose there is a room. We need to change its look. 
so we have to get in touch with the management and with the interior designers for the new look of the room to coordinate with the purchase department for the procure, uh, for the pro uh, procurement of guest supplies cleaning agents equipments fabrics carpets and other items used in the hotel so it's the duty of the housekeeping department to make the hotel look neat and clean to look attractive so for that we at housekeeping coordinate with all departments to give a better look to the hotel to do uh, to deal with lost and found articles yes if there is a guest staying in a hotel and by, by chance if he or she left some item in the room we at housekeeping department maintain a proper log of that and in case guest claims it then we make sure that it gets delivered to the guest to ensure training control and supervision of all housekeeping staff that we have discussed in the hierarchy also to establish a good working relationship with other departments that means the coordination with other departments as i have said housekeeping is one of the core department so there are other departments also like fnb production fnb service front office maintenance purchase and we at hotel we have to maintain good relations with everyone so that the hotel functions run smoothly to ensure the safety and security regulations are made known to all staff of the department dealing with any guest queries complaints and requests as they occur let's suppose there is a query from the guest about a swimming pool a call comes to the control desk supervisor or at the control desk so the control desk person should have the all the knowledge about everything present in the hotel or all the services provided by the hotel in case there is a complaint then the housekeeping department staff should be trained enough to handle the guest complaints or requests to keep the general manager or administrator informed of all matters requiring attention let's suppose there is a appreciation or a complaint or a, some different request by the guest so those things should be in, informed to the seniors whether it, it will be executive executive housekeeper or general manager or duty manager it should be informed to them areas under housekeeping so the areas which housekeeping takes care in the hotel so there are two things one is front of the house areas and other is back of the house areas so these are two front of the house areas are the ones where guests can go whereas back of the house areas where only staff is allowed and guest cannot go there so under front of front of the house areas and under back of the house areas which all areas fall we'll discuss from the next slide so front of the house areas guest rooms corridors the corridors outside the guest rooms lobbies and public restrooms lobby is where the front office is and public restrooms are basically the washrooms which are near the restaurant or attached to the lobby or different places swimming pool meeting rooms and lounges bar restaurant coffee shop all those things banquet halls in continuation with the previous slide convention halls hotel operated shops hotel operated shops are also known as concessionaires recreation rooms game rooms for the uh, for the uh, childs gymnasium building exteriors that means lawns landscaping and gardens back of the house areas 
management offices where guests are not allowed storage areas linen and sewing rooms laundry room employee locker rooms administrative office clock rooms maids service rooms that means the pantry which is there on each and every floor of the guest rooms so that's all for today's video in the next video we will study about duties and responsibilities of housekeeping staff here in this in the next video we will discuss about the various job descriptions various duties and responsibilities performed by each individual in the housekeeping department that's all for today thank you have a nice day